Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey, and today I'm going to show you guys how I go from this hot mess express to this beautiful, gorgeous, luscious, curliness going on in my head right now. As you can see, I'm starting off with some really dusty braids, but basically the main goal of your natural hair is to make it as flat as you possibly can. Next, I like to take some 91% alcohol and a little piece of a paper towel and just go along my forehead. I never place my lace on my actual hair. I try not to. So I like to wipe away any excess makeup or sweat or whatever's on my forehead from earlier so that the lace will stick properly. Next, I go in with my wig cap. I usually purchase wig caps that are close to my skin tone so that I don't have to work as hard trying to get the scalp color on the wig to match my skin tone. Now I like to go in with my liquid foundation and a foundation brush and I just go in and buff in that liquid foundation around the front perimeter of my head and in the center or on the side of my head wherever my part is going to lay I like to fill in those portions with foundation so you can literally do the whole cap if you want to but it's unnecessary for me today so today i'm going to be wearing a rpg show wig i ordered a curly bob styled wig i didn't think i was going to like it but i am in love with it as you guys will see but this is the wig construction as you can see it's not a full lace wig but it does have full lace covering the whole entire front as well as the center part so you do have a lot of parting room this is what comes in the box, a lot of goodies, as well as an elastic band if the wig is too large for your head. So now I'm just trying on the wig for the first time and I'm just gonna see how it's laying on my head and the wig fit my head so well, you guys. It was like perfectly snug. And what I like to do with my wig cap is pull it back a little bit so that the wig line of demarcation right there isn't showing. So I like to pull it back a little bit so that you see more of my skin. You know, if you have a five head like me, lace frontals and lace wigs work in your favor. So <laughs> um, I'm just going to cut the lace portion, the outer lace portion with small scissors I swear this makes it 10 times easier if you use smaller scissors because you can't cut as much at one time and I just follow my natural hairline as a guide so I just go ahead and cut it actually on my head it just makes it easier for me so before we go into the next part I just want to explain how lace wigs and lace frontals are made and all that good stuff anything with the name lace in it basically is made like this so each individual hair is actually tied onto a hoop inside a piece of lace so that's why lace wigs and lace frontals tend to be kind of on the pricey side because each individual hair is tied to a hole in a piece of lace so since that's what they do with the hair you have to create an illusion to where the hair is growing out of your scalp and not out of those knots so I like to cover my knots with foundation a lot of people like to bleach their knots but honestly i've had really bad experiences with bleaching my knots because the chemical gets on the hair and not just on the knot i'm not an expert i've just figured out what works for me so okay on to the video <laughs> so i like to go in with my powder foundation and a foundation brush the same one i used earlier and i'm just gonna pounce the foundation into the lace so I just go ahead and flip my wig inside out and just push that foundation into the knots basically to change the color from black to brown this is a great way to make your lace match your scalp and just help everything to look seamless so I'm gonna throw my wig back on just fix it in the back adjust it to what I want it to look like and as you can see it already looks better the lace around the perimeter blends in with my skin tone as well as the inner portion where it's already parted so now since this wig has no baby hairs we're gonna create some I'm just gonna take a rat tail comb and just part along the perimeter of my wig and just take a little bit of hair out for the baby hairs just make sure you clip your extra hair back and I like to go in with an eyebrow razor <laughs> and just cut kind of razor down on the outer perimeter hairs and this just creates a nice feather like effect for the baby hair so they're not like really really blunt and they look a lot more like 
natural baby hairs you know what I mean so you just go ahead and do that process you can do this process on the outer perimeter as well like the back or the nape of your head as well but I'm not wearing my wig up so I won't be doing that but I'm just taking my eyebrow razor and just kind of cutting this part doesn't have to be perfect at all because you want it to be kind of messy just don't take out too much hair <laughs> because that'll look super crazy so I like to go ahead and push my wig back and I take some got to be glued I like the black one and I take a spatula you can use a rat tail comb it really doesn't matter and I just kind of <laughs> butter the outside perimeter perimeter of my head if that makes sense so I just go ahead and spread the got to be glued on the perimeter of my head and I like to leave it there for about 30 seconds and then I go in with cool air on my blow dryer and just blow dry it for about one minute and this just makes the glue super tacky and it makes your lace apply a lot quicker when you actually place the lace down on your head so I really like doing this method it's been working for me I've been doing it for a while and I still have my edges so <laughs> that's a plus so I go ahead and pull the wig forward I press it down with my nails so that I, I really try to press it down with my nails but you don't really want your fingers to touch the lace as much because most of the times your hands have oil on them and it'll turn the glue white so just kind of press it with your nails or a comb if you have one handy so yeah that's what I like to do I just press it down and for the most part the glue is dry by now and I like to just push some of the baby hairs forward with my fingers or a comb and just make sure they're visible so I can kind of swoop them over in a second. And I like to take my Gatsby glue and just kind of swoop my baby hairs. You can do them however you like. I'm sure everyone has their own method <laughs> to their baby hair. So I just like to kind of swoop them frontward and then go back towards my hairline and then swoop them back forward, kind of like waves. <laughs> This part is probably the most tedious because I like to get it, you know, kind of just right so they don't look super crazy and kind of over the top. So I just take a comb if they're looking crazy and just kind of push them back down. I just really want them to look pretty simple, not too exaggerated. And I go ahead and do the other side with a toothbrush. A toothbrush, guys, is the best way to get your baby hairs right, I'm telling you. Don't use your toothbrush. Use one dedicated for your edges. But this is basically it guys um, I'm just gonna fool around with the hair a little bit I'm gonna spray some water on the hair just to tame the frizz a little bit I'm gonna go in with some of my anti like I don't know if this is anti frizz or anti something mousse but mousse just helps keep the curls popping basically all day and it helps you know to defrizz the hair as well so I'm just adding that throughout the hair this is what the lace is looking like before I add any makeup to the top portion of the lace it looks okay but I don't like that you can see the difference in the wig cap in my scalp so I'm gonna use a really thin eyebrow brush and put some concealer on it and I'm just gonna place that right in the center of the part and kind of go back and forth and just blend it out so that it looks very very seamless and there's no lines of demarcation but that's really it guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know if you like this hair down below leave a comment subscribe like share this video with someone you think would like it and i will see you guys in the next one